KXLY 4's Aaron Luna is live on the scene. Aaron, everybody out safely? Everyone is out safely. There was some concern that there might be a child inside. However, that's just not the case. Thankfully, all the children are accounted for. The address is about 500 La Crosse. And if you take a look down the street, you can see the ladders are still out. We still have a lot of fire crews working the scene, kind of mopping things up, getting everything organized, kind of, you know, working the fire down. The fire has been contained. It did threaten a couple stru structures on the east side as well as the west side. The fire originally started in the garage area and that's where they say a couple cars were damaged and there also is a carport that was damaged the firefighters did rescue a dog out of the house uh, there was reports that there was a large python snake in the basement they didn't go get that one because he was unthreatened he was he was in a, a safe place so they didn't go and get the snake but there was some damage to houses nearby um, they're not sure where the fire started but it's kind of in the garage area in the back of the house. There were some explosions that neighbors heard. They said there were propane tanks in the garage and that's probably what caused that. Now the dad that lives at the house with the children did try to go back into the house. He was stopped by police and firefighters and they had to calm him down and let him know that his child was not in the house. So a real tough time for him as he's watching his house on fire thinking that his child is in there. Thankfully he wasn't. Um, they haven't determined a cause yet and because they say it's such a hot day, they've been rotating their firefighters in and out, making sure they're, they're watered and they have a lot of hydration, taking their rest as they battle in such warm temperatures. They don't know what the cause is or exactly where it started, but they're working on it, determining that. And as soon as we'll know, we'll let you know. Robin, I'll send it back to you for now.